हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अक्षता यू एजुकेट आई वेलकम यू ऑल द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च अ कम्प्लीट सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी बी डीलिंग विद पेपर वन सो इन लेक्चर नंबर टू टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मोर क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दी परसेंटेज टॉपिक ओके बिफोर मूविंग इन टू द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स आई लाइक टू टेल यू दैट द यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर दैट कम्प्लीट कोर्स हैज बीन लॉन्च बाई ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर पेपर वन इन दिस फॉलोइंग फीचर्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू लाइव लेक्चर्स फॉर्मैट ओके एट द सेम टाइम वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन ऑल योर यूनिट्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सिक्सटी मॉक्स मॉक टेस्ट विल बी गिवन टू यू यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिज मॉक टेस्ट सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द डेप्थ ऑफ योर स्टडी ओके नेक्स्टली यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद द टेन ईयर्स पी वाई क्यूज लास्ट टेन ईयर पी वाई क्यूज विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू एट द सेम टाइम टू थाउजेंड प्लस question banks will be provided and these features are provided in the course fees of just 4500 rupees this is an golden opportunity do grab it download the global online app or else you can contact us on this particular given whatsapp number which is 9767066858 before moving into the video friends the last step i would like to tell you that you have to install the global online application from the play store once you will install it open the app and you will find such interface over here in this particular interface there is an icon called as store icon click on that particular icon and you will move to the pages called as my courses page in this my courses page there is a tab above called as search tab in this search tab you have to type ugc net paper 1 and you will come across these different courses along with the fees will be displayed below in this way you have to go and take the subscription or the enrollment of the course nextly the overview for this particular course as i have already told you for the uh, paper 1 complete course here you will be provided with daily live lectures recorded lectures 60 mock test full syllabus notes last 10 years question papers 2000 plus mcqs pdf and the content is in english and hindi okay so the content that is the units which are given here that is teaching aptitude research aptitude reading comprehension communication mathematical reasoning logical reasoning all of these unit will be taught to you in english as well as hindi that is bilingual course will be given to you by ankita sood ma'am else if you have to follow only hindi course then this will be provided to you by priyanka ma'am and if you want complete english course okay complete english course then that will be provided to you or that will be taught to you by the tripti ma'am okay in this way you can go and subscribe to the channel as well as you can enroll to the course provided by the global online and this will make you to score maximum marks in the examination and ha can have you can have guaranteed selection in the examination okay so this is an golden opportunity do grab it do enroll the course and make your score to maximum okay so in this way in today's lecture we'll be talking about the topic called as percentage in the previous lecture also we have discussed a few questions and what are the basic things regarding the percentage okay how to calculate the percentage what are the shortcut or simple ways to calculate the percentage okay nextly what we have seen was the common percentage okay common percentage this is how we have calculated okay so just if you are not watched the previous video go and watch it and then come to this next video for the percentage okay in today's lecture we'll be discussing more questions regarding the percentage okay so so before moving into the questions i would like to tell you some of the formulas that are important regarding this topic okay whenever in the question if it is given for example we have to calculate the percentage difference okay if we have to calculate the percentage difference then there are two different formulas for that percentage difference formulas what are those let us discuss that first if we are given with the two values if two values are given for example one value is uh, if uh, let us consider v1 and the another value is v2 okay these are the two values and we need to find the percentage different between these particular two values then it can be done by a formula that is called as percentage difference percentage difference between values v1 and v2 okay these are the two different values i am assuming it as v1 and the another as the v2 right so to calculate this or what all you have to do is simply 
take the difference that is v2 minus v1 upon v2 minus v1 upon v2 sorry v1 plus v2 upon 2 into 100 so basically if we have to calculate if in question they are asking us to calculate what is the percentage difference between particular two values if two values are given that is we, there we have to calculate if percentage difference then this is the formula that you will opt over here okay so this was one formula the another formula that i would like to give you over here is for example okay before that let us take an example for this percentage difference if we have values consider if two values are given one is 40 and 60 these are the two values these are two different values if we have to calculate what is the percentage difference between 40 and 60 percentage difference between 40 and 60 what all you will do over here is as per the formula v2 minus v1 consider this value as v1 and this as v2 okay so what we have to do over here is v2 minus v1 upon v1 plus v2 upon 2 into 100 so what you will do is simply okay here 40 minus 60 upon 40 plus 60 by 2 into 100 okay so this is how you have to calculate the percentage difference that is v1 minus v2 upon v1 plus v2 upon 2 so basically this is the formula okay sorry make here one change v1 minus v2 sorry this is v1 minus v2 upon v1 plus v2 upon 2 into 100 so this was one formula okay now if if in question you have to find the percentage increase or the decrease i'll give you uh, uh two more formulas over here percentage increase and percentage decrease okay this was percentage difference formula try to understand this is the percentage difference formula if in question if in question they are asking us how much percentage increase is there or how much percentage decrease is there at that time what you have to or which formula you have to use so look into this slide once i'll tell you if we have to find the percentage increase try to understand the basic difference the first formula that we have seen was the percentage difference now we have to find the percentage increase what all you have to do is new number whatever the new value is given or the new number is given to us minus original original number upon original number okay so whatever new number they have given whatever the percentage increase is there between these two values we have to calculate that right but what what we have to come across is the formula new number minus the original number upon original number into 100 this is the formula for the percentage increase now what will be the formula for the percentage decrease okay percentage decrease percentage decrease is nothing but original number original number minus new number completely opposite okay there is decrease in the percentage it means the number which is which is coming later on that is the new number is lesser than the original number this is the thing that we have to understand over here and upon the original number in 200 these are the two formulas one was the one that i have explained you before that is the percentage difference that what, what was the formula percentage difference this is equals to value two values are given that is v1 minus v2 upon v1 plus v2 by 2 into into 100 okay these are the three formulas that you have to keep in mind okay nextly let us see some of the examples that i have given on into the next slide 
before moving into the slide friends i would like to tell you that for paper 2 if you are finding the compiled study material or the complete study material in the form of compilation here for paper 2 with the different subjects global online is providing you with the full syllabus notes and most M most expected mcqs so if you are hunting for a compilation where you can find where you can find notes as well as important mcqs important mcqs if you are hunting this or if you are in the search of this uh, compilation the global online is providing you, you with this different uh, compiled notes and the mcqs for the paper 2 with the following different subjects if your paper 2 subject is from below subjects mentioned here that is management economics or computer science commerce history else sociology psychology library science philosophy marathi law english literature physical education geography political science social work education hindi public administration and electronic science so if you are having any of this subjects for paper 2 and you you are in search of the compilation for the notes and important mcqs then this particular compilation is going to be very much beneficial for you do subscribe for this do enroll for this too if you want this compilation for the notes and important mcqs you can contact us on this particular given whatsapp number over here okay this is for paper 1 so this is for the paper 2 right you have to simply whatsapp us and we'll give you this compiled notes in the form of the pdf and here you will be getting this compilation in the course fees just of 1500 rupees the original fees is 1700 which has been reduced to 1500 rupees okay so simply go and get enrolled into this particular compiled notes course okay nextly now let us discuss some of the important questions over here that are given so the very first question is ramesh salary was reduced by 10% and then reduced the salary was increased by 10% okay once the salary has been reduced okay for example consider ramesh salary is x rupees this has been first reduced by 10% try to understand the question first okay this salary this particular salary has been reduced by 10% suppose the upcoming salary is y now okay okay this is the reduced salary x is the original salary and it's reduced form by 10% is the y okay nextly this particular reduced salary now has been increased by again 10 percentage 10 percentage increase so what we have to calculate here we have to calculate the ultimate loss that has happened to ramesh okay so let us try to understand it in detail now for example consider consider that the salary of ramesh salary b rupees 100 okay now if we are saying that this particular salary has been reduced by 10% okay now what is the loss or what is the loss we can say if there is reduction of 10 percentage simply what is the 10 percent for rupees 100 it is rupees 10 ma'am okay so what will be the left salary left salary will be rupees 90 there is a loss of or there is a reduction or deduction of 10% it means there is deduction of how much rupees 10 rupees on 100 rupees right so what will be the reduced salary the reduced salary will be 90 rupees ma'am okay now this 90 rupees or this 90% of salary is for rupees 100 this is all the thing that we know over here okay now what will be the salary therefore reduced salary is 90 okay i'll use r for this reduced salary is rupees 90 now now the salary this reduced salary again has been increased by 10% salary reduced salary is reduced salary is 90 rupees now ma'am this again has been increased by 10% okay as i have told you whenever you are calculating 
one percentage or uh, one value is given and we have to calculate 10 percent of that particular given value as i have mentioned in the previous class whatever the value is given here we have to consider it as the hundred percentage right hundred percentage now increase of 10 percent is seen here that is 110 right 110 percentage simply now what is this 110 percent this particular 110 percentage is of 90 rupees ma'am right so we have to calculate the salary what will be the salary over here so the one per 110 percent of the 90 is nothing but 99 rupees if you are not able to understand how we have calculate the 110 percent simply try to understand that 100 percent is nothing but 100 percent ke liye agar 90 hai if it is 90 then for more 10 percent we have to calculate right it is 110 percent it means 100 percent plus 10 percent which means for 100 percent it is 90 and as i have told you whenever we have to calculate the 10 percent we have to give one decimal point after one digit it means 10 percent ke liye kya aega? 9 so it will be 90 plus 9 which is equal to 99 it means 110 percent of 90 is nothing but it is 99 rupees okay so so the salary will be equal to 99 okay now this was the question actually up to percentage ka topic now the next question what is asked over here is the ultimate loss now this goes in the profit and loss concept basically so if you are trying to understand what i am telling you over here is agar aapko idhar tak bhi samajh aaya it is enough okay salary given was for example 100 rupees and from that 10 percent has been reduced or deducted so the salary a reduced salary was 90 okay reduced salary became 90 now on this particular 90 rupees what they have done is the increment of the 10 percent increment of the 10 percent so what you have to do consider the 90 percent or the value as the 100 percent as i have considered over here okay what we have to do is the increment of 10 percent as we know 100 percent ke liye 90 is given to us so what will be the upcoming next 10 percentage it will be 9 rupees so this will be the 99 so the salary is 99 now the question agar idhar tak samaj aaya then it is good and enough okay enough for the percentage topic now what is asked us nextly they have asked us what is the ultimate loss to calculate this there is one formula i'll give you over here loss percentage you will learn this in detail in the topic profit and loss that is loss upon initial salary initial salary into 10 sorry 100 so this will be look here the salary from 100 was reduced to rupees 90 and then again was increased to 99 okay this was the answer that we have got from the question now what we have to calculate is the loss percent what will be the loss currently what we can we say the loss is loss is from 1 upon 100 into 100 initial salary is 100 okay what is the loss loss basically is the original salary minus this the deduced form of the salary that is 99 that is 100 minus 99 upon 100 into 100 that is equal to 1 percentage so the loss is of ultimate loss is of how much percentage it is of 1 percentage so this was the first question let's move let's move on to the second question over here now in a country 55 percent of the population is female okay 55 percent of the population is representing the female 80 percent of the male population is literate okay 55 percent population is female this is not given it is literate or illiterate only the second thing given over here to us is 80 percent of the male population given here is illiterate so what we have to calculate how much females are literate if the total literacy is 58 percentage look at the data once given in the question total literacy ka percentage diya that is 58 percentage female population is given not literate only female population is given which is equal to 55 percentage the second thing that is given to us over here is the male population which is equal to the 80 percentage okay this is the literate population okay we have to calculate the literate population for the female now in such case what we have to do is whenever the question is regarding the population 
ऑलवेज कंसिडर और टेक द पॉपुलेशन एज हंड्रेड वैल्यू ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन एज हंड्रेड कंसिडर द टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ओके सो इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग द टोटल पॉपुलेशन एज हंड्रेड इन द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज गिवन फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट आर फीमेल फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट आर फीमेल सो फ्रॉम हंड्रेड एज द पॉपुलेशन फिफ्टी फाइव विल बी फीमेल्स अम आई राइट फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट आर द फीमेल फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वर्ड फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन विच आई हैव कंसिडर हियर हंड्रेड इट मीन्स फिफ्टी फाइव विल बी फीमेल सो लेफ्ट आउट विल बी मेल That is hundred minus fifty five. If we do, we get forty five. This is total male. So from the population, what we can get is fifty five are the female and forty five are the male candidates. Okay. Now, literate population is given to us. Second data, literate population. Literate population. What is given? Total literate. This is the total literate population, which is equal to fifty-eight percentage. Now, this is fifty-eight percentage of total population. That is fifty-eight percentage of hundred. So, fifty-eight percentage of hundred is equal to fifty-eight peoples. So, literate population is how much? Literate population is fifty-eight people. Now, what is given? The second thing is male literate. Population is given. What is the male literate population? Eighty percentage. Eighty percentage of literate. Sorry, eighty percentage of the male population is given, which is literate now. Eighty percentage of what male population? Now consider this particular data, which is I have written over here. This is the total male candidate. These are the total female candidate. Now this eighty percentage of the male. Population are literate is given. It means eighty percentage of the forty-five people are literate, ma'am. Yes, am I right? Yes, ma'am. So what will be the eighty-five percent of the forty-five people? That you have to comment now in the comment section. I have given you how to calculate the eighty percentage of, for example, forty-five. We have to calculate the eighty percent of the forty-five. So th this is how I have given you. You can simply calculate it. If you are not able to do it, then watch the previous video. Watch the previous video and try to find it out. Okay, and comment in the comment section that the method that you have followed for calculating the eighty percent of the forty-five. This is equal to thirty-six. Okay, the answer will be thirty-six. But you tell me the way how you have calculated it. Okay, now nextly. 80% of the 45 people it means it is 36 of the male candidate are literate okay now female and male candidate female plus male candidate who are literate it means the total literate population am i right from this we can calculate we know the male literate population that is 36 we can calculate the female literate how come ma'am look here female literate female literate population will be total population that is 58 58 people are literate people complete literature uh, sorry lit sorry not literature total literate people are 58 including male as well as female 58 are literate including male as well as female from this if we calculate Sorry, if we minus thirty six of the male, we will get the female literate population. That right? That is twenty two females are literate. Okay, okay. If the question, if the question, now this is the total female literacy. This is the total female literacy from the population of the hundred people. How we have calculated once again? Look into the question. In a country, there were, in a country, there were people. From which male and females literacy was mentioned in the question. What was given here that fifty five percent of the population is female and among the males, among the males, whatever the males are left from that eighty percent are the literate population. We have to calculate females that are literate. Okay, how much females are literate that we had to calculate over here? Total population, if we are considering hundred, from that fifty five percent are female. It means fifty five. These are the female candidates, and left forty five will be the male candidates. Given is eighty percent of the male. That is eighty percent of the forty five males are what? Literate people. 
okay so what i have done here is 80 percent of the 45 i have calculated simple and the second data given over here is 58 percent of the 100 are the total literate population over here total literate population 58 percentage that is 58 people complete including male and female from the 100 population are literate so what we have done is we have calculated the total literate now we know the male literate also that is 36 simply we can calculate the female by subtracting total literate minus the male literate population that is 22 females are literate next question two numbers are less than a third by 30 percent and 37 percent respectively how much percent is the second number less than the first number now this is the question that i have I give you as homework try to solve this this is simple question okay try to solve this if you are not able to solve I'll take it but you at least try to solve what are the, what is given over here there are two numbers basically and they are less than the third number there are two numbers basically this is the first number this is the second number and they are less than this particular third number first is less by 30 percent and the second is less by the 35 37 percentage we have to calculate how much percent is the second number less than the first number okay try to understand the question first and try to solve it okay if not i'll take it in the next lecture now this is the question that we have to solve that is five percent of phi is sorry five percent of five percent of rupees hundred is what okay this is the question try to understand five percentage of five percent of rupees hundred is the question we have to calculate we know what is five percent how we can write it five upon 100 ma'am for of what we are going to take we are going to take it multiplication ma'am okay simply five again what is given nextly five percentage is given take the same thing 5 upon 100 nextly off is given take multiplication rupees 100 your understanding whenever question is given for example 5 percent of 100 here 5 percent denotes 5 upon 100 of denotes multiplication into 100 this is how we take here so follow the same what is given first 5 percentage take 5 upon 100 nextly what is given off what 5 percentage again 5 upon 100 again off of 100 rupees this is the thing that we have to follow over here what will be the calculation the calculation will be rupees 0 0.25 the question is asked don't get panicked 5 percent of 7 percent of rupees 100 3 percent of 7 percent of rupees xyz or whatever is given we simply have to understand that what is the uh, code of percentage or off okay so for percentage we are going to divide it by 100 and for off we are going to multiply it okay so this is the thing now for question number five if 20 percent of the grocery bill is reducted or reduced by rupees 100 we have to calculate uh original bill if the still pending bill is rupees 100 okay from this question what is given here there is one grocery bill okay grocery bill now this particular grocery bill total is given to us and from this total 20 percent has been reduced okay 20 percent has been reduced for example you have to pay one bill and on that particular bill you are getting a discount of rupees uh, sorry you are getting a discount of 20 percent and still after getting the discount you have to pay that particular owner 100 rupees or still 100 rupees has to be paid by you question is asked what is the original bill what is the original bill okay i'm hoping that you're understanding the question let us get into the detail now here after 20 percent of the deduction we still have to pay rupees 100 okay after 20% of reduction or deduction we can say we still have to pay to pay rupees 100 therefore the remaining bill is how much 
हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर हंड्रेड रुपीज हैज टू बी पेड आफ्टर द ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ डिडक्शन इट मीन्स आई एम टेकिंग हंड्रेड माइनस एटी मीन्स एटी परसेंटेज ऑफ बिल हैज बीन पेड दैट इज एटी परसेंटेज ऑफ वॉट रुपीज हंड्रेड आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके एटी परसेंटेज ऑफ वॉट रुपीज हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट हैज बीन रिड्यूस्ड एटी परसेंट ऑफ द बिल हैज टू बी पेड नाउ नाउ फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर एटी परसेंट ऑफ द बिल सॉरी एटी परसेंट ऑफ द बिल नॉट रुपीज हंड्रेड एटी परसेंट ऑफ द बिल स्टिल हंड्रेड रुपीज हैज टू बी पेड सो आई एम टेकिंग इज इट एज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सो वॉट आई विल डू एटी अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू द बिल इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड कैलकुलेट इट द टोटल बिल विल बी इक्वल टू रुपीज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस वॉज द सिंपल कैलकुलेशन नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ग्रॉसरी बिल वॉज बीन रिड्यूस्ड एंड ऑन दैट स्टिल हंड्रेड रुपीज हैड टू बी पेड वी हैड टू फाइंड द ओरिजिनल बिल दिस वॉज द मेथड हाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द आंसर्स टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज द वन दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व एज अ होमवर्क ओके दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली आई हैड गिवन यू इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन लेक्चर एज द होमवर्क सो आई एम होपिंग यू विल सॉल्व दिस थर्ड वन ऑल्सो ट्राई टू सॉल्व इफ सॉल्व इट एंड इफ नॉट आई एम देर आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट इन द वेरी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो If you like the video please hit the like button as well as if you have any kind of doubts regarding the lecture regarding the subscription regarding the enrollment of the course you can simply comment in the comment section and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and also uh, get no to the course which has been uh, uh, launched by the global online so this was end of today's lecture thank you for watching it have a great day everyone bye